everybody. Welcome to a very special edition, uh, edition of Miracle TV where we're going to be talking about delicious ways to create a lovely charcuterie board with the hostess with the mostest herself, Linda. Um, so we are so glad that you're watching this video because we are celebrating our holiday preview party tonight. So if you're watching this video, November 16th, we are going to be open until 7 at the store, and you can shop. Um, we have a great sales going on, a great coupon that you can use. But we are so excited to share with you um, Tulip Tree Creamery. So Tulip Tree is a local creamery. They have all different kinds of cheeses that they make. Um, are they in Indianapolis? They are in Indianapolis. I think they just recently opened a little store mm -hmm. in the, where they produce yeah. the cheeses. And they also do um, butters. They okay. make amazing puddings that can get a hold of the butterscotch. It's incredible. Okay. Um, and then they do just all kinds of cheeses. I buy it at the farm, Broad Ripple Farmer's Market, and we're now the winter market, so we're over at the old uh, Macy's spot. Um, in and, Glendale. In Glendale, yeah. so not far from Broad Ripple. Um, and you can just, they do cheese curds. I mean, they, they have a, a pub cheese that's really great. So yeah, when you're putting together too. a charcuterie board, they're a great place to start. Yes. So they're going to be with us tonight to mm -hmm. show us some of their award-winning cheeses, national awards. I mean, they have really, they're amazing. They're, so they're going to be here. We want you to come and join us. And you can come, you can buy their cheeses at Marigold. You can try everything. Um, so this is a really special event that we hope that we see you at. Yes. Um, and we're going to talk about how you can put a lovely charcuterie board together. Um, I'm so excited because okay. honestly, you're going to be the assistant, and I get to try yeah. it. I get to try it. Um, and I'm just so happy that um, you're showing this because honestly, you throw a great party. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, she's been doing it for 33 and years and beyond, but Linda, honestly, like, she has the vision of clothing and this beautiful cheese board. Um, if you've ever been to a Marigold gathering, she pulls out all the stops, so we're so excited that she can show us how to put a beautiful cheese board together. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this really fast. So I think one of the things to a charcuterie board is you want to decide what it is you want to have. And you want to have some cheeses and some meats. If you, if you know, unless you want to do it all vegan, then that's cool too. Yeah. And you wouldn't be doing cheeses. Although there would be cheeses you could do. But this is just a real smattering. And what I strive for is to have different colors and different textures. It's like merchandising the sales floor. So you want to kind of mix the colors and textures. Um, and I like to have savory and sweet. So, for instance, I just cut the apples so they wouldn't brown. But you can sprinkle a little lemon juice on it. Mm -hmm. um, or I did in Google this. There's a salt brine I think you can soak the apples in. Um, and then just dry them off uh, once you pull it out of the brine. And that keeps them from browning. So, um, let's talk a little bit about... Lauren, if you want to hold this. Yes, I Thank love you. you. So, you know, you got all kinds of things in your cabinets you can use for charcuterie boards. So Lauren has a ceramic piece, um, which I think is really fun. Um, sometimes if people are cutting cheeses, that's why the woods uh, charcuterie boards are better. Um, but I I also think that's pretty. So that's why you I gotta start with like your base. to use. Yeah, you got to start with your base. Yes. So it could be that. This is a um, charcuterie board I picked up from Willa Gray right around the corner from us. And this was a birthday gift for my friends and um, beautiful piece of wood. And they bought this at the farmer's market. There's a woodworker at the oh, yeah. winter market and he made this. So I think we're going to work with this board. So I'll take okay. that. That's a good gift too. I think yes. this board right. is coming up is a beautiful charcuterie board. And then we've already kind of mixed some of these up, but um, I think it's great to have just different little containers. Um, if, and, and one of the things I love in color is you get the pickled carrot sticks, Yum. and they could be just coming out of this little glass. Mm -hmm. So you can use all kinds of things. Okay, so I like to start from the middle and build out. So we are gonna put the olives in the middle. And then, Lauren, do you want to fold these? Yeah. And what I do is I'm just taking a piece of salami, folding it, and folding it again. And then 
I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to move this over a little. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a circle all the way around. Okay. A little salami wreath. Yes. Rosette. Yes. And you kind of stick them inside each other. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do this. Oh my. Come on, cooperate. <laughs> All right. Cute. Um, so I probably have more on this board than we're going to need, but you could have your just nuts sitting off to the side. Um, these are pickles that my dear friend Mary Beth uh, and her husband Kevin, we make every year. So we just, I just opened up a jar um, and they are quite amazing, but that could just be sitting off to the side here. Mm -hmm. Like so. Okay. Then this is Tulip Tree Nightshade. Um, this is a long aged cheese and I like to put this or there, they have a Gruyere too. Um, I like to put this here and then if you want to just arrange some apples, yeah, and then, you know, just pretty it up there, you know, merchandise girl. Okay. Um, and then we'll put the other cheese. This is a nettle. Now this is a soft cheese and I do think it's nice to have a mix of soft cheeses, goat cheese, you could do feta cheese, um, and then some of the harder cheeses like a cheddar. So this is uh, their nettle and it has mint. Um, it's a little wet. I probably should have... Yeah, we'll just pop it on there. Okay, that's so pretty. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Yes. Um, okay, so then we're, we got our salami, we got our apples. Um, just for a little fun color, mm -hmm. we might just throw some of these here. Mm -hmm. And once again, I think once you have everything prepped, um, it's really easy to throw it together. Yeah. And you want to, these are apricots. Now, the reason they're not bright orange is they don't have the sulfites in them, but they still taste delicious. So I do like to mix, um... Let's throw some of those over there. And we still have some cukes. This is fun. Yeah. This could, be, this could be you. You could be making a beautiful Done. cheese board for your fam or your friends. All right, and like I said, this is a small cheese board. This is probably like for maybe six people. Yeah. Um, you still could add some other things, and of course, we still have plenty of stuff to add, but you could have a little dish of, um, if you want to just grab some crackers out yeah. there and put that here. Um, and then ever important. I like how there's the bowls around it. Yeah, and it makes a whole presentation. And then, you know, you just do this to that. And you've got a little fork. And we'll have this on here for people to grab stuff. And um, I always like to start these hard ones a little bit. And this just came out of the refrigerator. So let's move this back here so Mary Beth can see that. Now, other things you can do. So some really good crusty bread would be great. Mm -hmm. um, I travel out to Orcas Island every summer, and this is Girl Meets Dirt. Um, they are um, award-winning jam, I guess, preserve makers. Everything is grown on the island. This one is called Shiro Plum with Mint, um, and it's amazing. And you could have a little dish of that out for people to put on crackers or to mix, or I've seen where people do honeycomb with it. Mm. Um, you know, and then... You just make it really pretty because you put this around it. It's very festive. And voila, you're ready to entertain. And it was so simple. So you can do it ahead of time. It really makes it so much easier to do all this ahead. But I like to, like I said, carrots are great to add to it. Um, even zucchini, pickled anything. Um, be careful because sometimes the pickling is hot and some people don't like hot. So I usually try to stay away from that. Um, 
And like stuff that's like in season, right? Yes, and I try to do in season. Like it'd be fun to do little pomegranate seeds on this, yeah, you know, just sprinkled on there to make it festive. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, oh, figs. I was looking for figs and I didn't find them. But, you know, the, the uh, figs that are out right now, um, you know, you could quarter those and have those sprinkled on there. That's and those pretty. are really good. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. So anything like that. And it's just so easy and it just makes a great presentation. Okay. Let's eat. Delicious. Let's eat. Let's drink. <laughs> have have some tea. good rosé or um, champagne or yeah. whatever. Wine, martinis. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. That's it. We're done. You guys, thank We're you for eat. watching. Come hang out with us. We're open until 7 tonight, November 16th, um, for the preview party. But we're open all day. So Tulip Tree, Tulip Tree Creamery mm -hmm. will be here from 5 to 7 specifically. Um, but you can come and shop all day. Um, we also have jewelry from artist Roxy Lentz as well, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, we're just going to eat this and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay.